Hey, look, it's a roughly small bunk bed. Or a prison. Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of Voyage Train. Uh, and yeah, this, this time we're starting a little different than usual. I decided to go and decided to head off and go to, towards the next gate. We're actually there; you just can't see it right now. I'll show you the lag spike in just a second. And I think I talked about this before about having the lag spike when I come up to the the void gate. And I'm at that point right now where. I'm actually on the edge, we're actually there, just can't see it, but I walk forward, and there's the lag, and there's the void gate. Uh, yes, I have been uh, done, done a little bit of exploring, I found a couple of these uh, witch puzzles off in the void there, and same thing, both, thing, both of them had the fireflies, uh, this, both of them were uh, the beams, I had to redirect off pillars to connect the others, nothing nothing exciting, there was no narration or anything like that, and just went ahead and just did some gathering. Uh, I did get two different chests, uh, I got this one here and I got this one here. Uh, I'm hoping that uh, the quality of the chest determines how, how much stuff is actually in there, so this might be like something like seeds or something like that, and then some lower scrap items like food and wood and this might have like the mushrooms and the scrap and all that stuff uh we'll find out once we get inside here uh we will have to worry about the, the bandits or whatever they are that are in there uh i haven't done too much else other than uh gather up a whole bunch of resources i have full chest here full chest there i got some on me uh i did get collect some more coal so I've got that going for me here. I learned a thing too about the, the chunks that I pick up. Uh, apparently you can actually place them down the, de the deck like you can with uh, Rufimo cages and uh, these chests here. So definitely going to start doing that. That's weird. After I was recording, or after I finished playing, I was, had the same thing where I was going in and out. And I think I had saved and reloaded or something like that and it came in and the void gate was there but this time now it's not so anyways uh i think what i was planning on doing i was actually debating on whether to go ahead and get more research done but there are some things we need for the research uh i gotta make the resident gotta get more copper made and all this stuff but at the same time too i sort of want to get some progression going and as the narrator was, was saying it was about using the prophecies and i think honestly like this this research here is the, the, the prophecies that shape my world so if i go ahead and build the the steam engine in this depot then maybe things will progress in the game well we shall find out soon enough uh we're actually gonna do that i believe i have enough on me i've got all the metal i've got uh i think i had chemicals in here somewhere yeah i got chemicals in there oh i do have some copper i got some stuff left over uh come on Hitbox is a little funny on that. I had chemicals in there. That's my leather. And then, yeah. So, anyways, uh, let us go in. I was thinking about changing my armor plating, but I think it's going to be okay. Uh, you know what? Maybe I will. Uh, that was. That was a workbench over here. Oh, yeah. And I found out how to crouch, too. Control, like in most games. Who would have thought, huh? Uh, that'd be consumables. So, we'll go ahead and make another one of these. Uh, I think that's going to avoid the one that I have on there already, but at least it gives me some extra. Uh, I probably could make uh, put a gun together, because I should have enough parts. The only problem is, though, is um, ammo. Yes. Anyway, so we can go ahead, open up the inventory, uh, go here and use that. Now give me a full armor, and then we go from there. So uh, let us roll... Yeah, I tried to put a shelf here, try to find a place to put these guys. So that way we can swap them out because they have different ones. Like, he repairs objects. Uh, one of them, uh, what does he do? He, um, repels threats or something. The other guy actually, fi uh, I'm not sure what the, camera, what the other guy does. Oh, raises morale. And I've seen, there's another one I've seen in, in a playthrough. It was, uh, uh, mines resources. So anyway, uh, you know what? Stop this music for a second here. I didn't realize there's gonna be a few bit more up here. I thought there was more fireflies up there. Yeah, I just want to grab this scrap. Because if I can, I want to expand the, uh, at least expand one of the cars. 
Get a little bit more space. Grab whatever I can. Oh! Yeah, that's why I had the hook there. I didn't want to go too far, far forward. I want to save the epic music for the video, right? Okay. I swear I'm ready this time. Let's go. It'd be nice if these little guys would actually react to the horn. Look a little hungry. Anyway, uh, let us roll. Oh, yeah, let's get this ready too. Just in case. I'd say it was a good shot. It's kind of hard to miss that. Oh, that's scrap. I can't miss that. Let us go. Because I need to make copper. I'm hoping I can find some chemicals too. I'll try to be a little bit of a better of an aim this time. Uh, I guess it was a recent update or something, and they had actually added mouse sensitivity to it. So, uh, like a mouse sensitivity option that seems to actually work. So that is good. Okay. This is taking a really long time. You never realize the grand scale of how big this thing actually is until you start coming up to towards it and you're realizing that's taken absolutely forever. I know I can speed this up too. Uh, I have a feeling I'll have to move my uh, chests here too, eventually. Let's actually see how much ammo there is. I think it's just three shots or is it like a whole round? Uh, I, I can't. I can't. I'm watching scrap fly by. I gotta grab it all. Call me the scrap man. Okay. There was one I missed too, but whatever. We're at the gate. Gotta be on my toes. They never knew who or what is gonna be waiting for me. Okay, I was gonna reload, but we should be good. I get this feeling we're gonna come up to a gate one of these days and some big hand is gonna come down and grab that chain and snap it like a twig. I'm gonna see a face like face like yours peeping up peeking out. Anyway. Now one of the things I have I'm kinda worried about with the uh, the steam engine is what happens if we run out of fuel do I actually have to like try to go find stuff to actually get this thing moving I know you get rid of the, the trolley handle everything else uh, apparently the brakes and the transmissions can be placed on any car so I'm guessing you can have a whole bunch of them or most likely just one at the front and back but anyways off we go There's gonna be somebody here. I know there is. There's always somebody here. Where are you? Where are you? I'm blind. I can't see them. The most anticlimactic gunfight ever. Gunfight at the Sleepy Corral. Oh, there you go, there you are. Okay, uh, let me cut and I'll come bring you back. Okay, uh, I'm back. And I'm still alive. And be thankful you didn't have to watch that, that was actually pretty terrible. <laughs> Uh, like shooting these guys point blank and I'm not hit, hitting them. I think I'm supposed to be hitting right the red collar or something like that. But anyway, so let's go see what kind of stuff we can find. These guys are still alive. That's all I care about. Uh, let's see what else. I have a feeling there might be some other guys somewhere too. Okay, that was just a plating. And... Oh, what did I pick up? Oh, just ammo. Looked like I actually picked up a gun. And you got no coins, okay. Let's see what else we have here. I did see some tokens. Um, so what I'll do is I'll actually do another cut here, do some exploring, do some gathering, and see what I find, and then we'll open up the boxes. Oh, hang on. I just realized they were actual guns I picked up and they went into my gun slots. Uh, so how do I change this? Uh, it's gonna be... Q? No. 
Ah. Nice. Well, I got some new toys. Anyway, I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. Uh, I was able to find some stuff, not a whole lot. Uh, I did find another Reflimo, though. You are weird. I gotta have a look at you. We gotta... We gotta get this little guy off. Uh, how do I get you off? Uh, there we go. Oh, 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 oh. Sorry, I thought I... Uh, I just, uh... Hurt him or something. Alright, I'll just place him there. Alright, let's actually see what this little guy could do. Okay, place. Improves mood. Are you sure about that? Is this like a, a texture thing, or...? It's definitely gonna get one to keep. Alright, so we are here. Um, do I have inventory space? No, I don't. Probably not. I never have inventory space in this game. Uh, I did have to make a few more chests. Uh, this one here, I found another gun. So I got a fast enhancer, I got a stable cash back, and a sharp eye dragonfly. There's an issue though. I didn't notice this little line here in the container. So that means uh, if I take these out, I cannot actually place this in. Because of that break, so yeah, that's gonna have to stick in my, my inventory unless I get rid of one of them. But uh, maybe I want to disassemble one. Really hard to say because they all have better attributes. Like I might even get rid of that. I have no idea. And I have three coin coins. Hang on a second. Sorry about that, that was a spontaneous sneeze, and I didn't actually have to sneeze. But anyways, uh, let's see about building this engine, see what we need for it. Oh, uh, let's do the chest first. Uh, what was I doing, complaining about inventory space? Uh, hit the right button there. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, inventory space is an issue, because I took everything out of the box. Uh, that'll have to stay. Yes, we'll put some wood in there. Uh, I'm not going to uh, end up smelting that yet, because I might have to make copper. Well, I know I will have to make copper, but let's see what we do here. All right. So to build a module, we can build this one. Oh, does it use everything that's in my inventories? Oh, interesting. Okay, so I need four gears, four pistons, four tubing, and four bolts. Okay, I should have everything. I got everything in the box here right now. Uh, so I've got the uh, 10 ingots, of four, 4 gears, 4 bolts, 4 pipe, 4 forcers. Just a piston, I don't know why it says forcer, but yeah. Uh, so what we're going to do, before we do that actually, is uh, pick up these chests. Now let's take the old one first. Or not the old one, but the, I guess the wooden one and see what we'll find in here. Now we got the inventory space. Got some more seeds. Lots of resources. And I want to open this because I want to... I want to... Hey, we got a mushroom. And more spe seeds. Um, oh, that was an armor plate. Because uh, once, once I add the engine, I, I want to put another car on. Or another wagon, as it's called. Alright, so what do I have for inventory space? Uh, let's put that away in there. Let's go over here, we'll put the bolt in there. Chemicals I had over here, and hopefully we can get some better organization going, because Lord knows I'm terrible at it. Alright, let's go pick up the rest of this here. Uh, and we'll open up the other one, see what we get in that one. Wow, that's a lot of stuff. And no room again. Alright, so what I'll do with this, because I know I'm going to need more iron. Is forget my inventory that way. Get another spot or two. And, and what kind of seeds are these? Strange seeds. Ooh, those are the seeds I wanted. Uh, 
definitely got to get better better storage system. Like this is just this ridiculous how like like I'm out of space again. Well, I do have I do have some room in here. But I still can't do anything with um, the gun. Yes, we must hide the gun. Nobody must know. Here, have some wood. There you go. Oh, that's not what I want to do. Neither was that. Alright, well, we already got all the good stuff off the ground, so let's go pick up. Put this on there. A nice little gilded chest. And jackpot. Oh, another mushroom. Wow. Cool. What is that? Oh, that's another... Another gun part. Getting all the stuff, but no nowhere to put it, any of it. Alright, let me clear, clean myself up and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. And there was a lot of stuff on the floor there, out of that one chest. And I do have some tokens, so let's see what we can get here. What is that? A prophecy. Ooh. Ooh. We were just talking about prophecies. Give me wood. I bet you would, huh? Yeah, another token. What do you give me? Yeah, leather. Alright, well, uh, let's actually see what this prophecy is all about. Oh, that's not the button. Alright, uh... What is this prophecy? And how do I use it? Uh, interesting. I wonder if there's something I gotta research for that. I have no idea. Um, hmm. Do I have a place to put it right now? Do I have a place to put anything right now? No, I don't. Uh, but you know what? What did I leave there? I left some wood for now. Uh, let, let's build this engine. Let's get this over with. Okay, uh, demolish the old engine. Alright, so let's close this. And then... Uh, trolley handle. Disassemble. Okay, build. And here we go. Oh! Oh, I like that. You can place it anywhere you want. And it needs room. Yeah, I gotta move everything. So what we're gonna do, where should we put this? Put it right at the front? Because I think I gotta... Yeah, because it's gonna need one block, one tile on either side, so pretty much all the chests have to go. Which means those have to be moved, that has to be moved, that has to be moved, but maybe not. We'll see. Or, or I just move that. Let's go move that. It'll be a lot cheaper. Because we have to use wood every time we move something. Alright, so... Pull out the hammer. If I hit the right button, you go here, bring up, bring this up, and... This time, don't dismantle it, don't deconstruct it, or relocate it. G. Okay. Uh, we're gonna need a bigger train. I think for now, how do I rotate? Uh... Should be R, right? Yes. Let's put it right in the back here for now. And then we can get out of here. And... We'll pick you up. Not... We won't punch you, no. We will not do that. Because I actually want to do sort of keep the space up here like this. I actually wonder if we can move it afterwards. I think we can. Oh wow, you can go third person. And there's my ugly mug. Well, not third person, now you can move the camera. That is really cool. So as you can see, it won't go there, but it'll actually go there. Hmm. Where do I want to put it? Do I want to put it here? That's a good question. 
I like how you can put it anywhere you want. I can have it on the side if I want. I can have it in the middle, in the front, in the back. Because I kind of like to be able to go all the way around it. I think the controls are in the back, though. So. Let's do that. All right. So now, and now we go down here, and let's see. Platform limit reached. What do you mean? Oh, okay. I can add a wagon. Cool. All right. I have to finish it, don't I? Well, this is interesting. Hold on, I'm getting a hitbox here. What am I getting? Getting something. Uh, weird, I was picking up something there, I don't know what it is. Uh, was it, there it was again. Hmm. That's kind of cool. Not sure what I'm picking up, but I believe we need to make a water biden. Uh, actually, what I need to do is make a couple of bolts. As soon as I can get some inventory space. And we'll just make two, because... Oh make two because I need the inventory space anyways so we'll do this one more and pick that up and we go run over here yes over here nice car and add a wagon aha See, then I can upgrade this. We can make this longer if I wanted, but I think, I think for now that'll be okay. I can move all the storage to the back here, and this would be sort of production, possibly, or have storage here and have all of the machines in the back there. But I'm kind of wondering about this now. Do I actually have to upgrade this? Hmm. Okay, that's going to be this thing here, I believe. Maybe not. So, yeah, it's just an engine, but... Yeah, as I was saying, I can go back here. Or, no, i got to do it this way. I can actually put a brake on this side, too. Um... Ah, yeah. It won't let me place it, though, because there's no platform. So let me finish this up and then uh, check a few things out and bring you right back. Okay, I was able to do some uh, rearranging. I actually forgot to go and grab out that piece of leather while I was here. Uh, yeah, so what it is, I grabbed all the, the crates that were up front there and I took all the crates that were in here and I put them all into some shelving units here. Now I know you eventually will be able to upgrade this and get some decor going on so I should see if it's unlocked in here. I don't know where it came from. But I, don't, I know it's not there. Okay, that's not gonna. Hmm. Oh, we're seeing something in here. Oh yeah, it's uh nope. That's here. Constructions no. Hmm. Oh yeah. No. Is there? Uh, I guess not. Anyway, uh, let's go see about fueling this thing up. So what I need is I need to make some chemicals. Uh, what do I have on me for inventory? Uh, I have no idea where anything is, so I might actually... Oh, I can make the heavy chemicals. I needed uh, two of them, I think it was. We go in here, we go into and make uh, unstable chemicals. Uh, throw it to make two of these. Now, I'm wondering if these are unstable chemicals, can I throw these at the bad guys and have them blow up? I guess we'll find out. And apparently the mushrooms are stackable. I don't know why I couldn't pick up the other one. Maybe you guys... Game was just being derpy. Maybe it was me. I have no idea, but there's different things. Uh, I also looked, did, did, opened this up. and So we can see your fuel and water. Uh, so fuel can be... Anything, really. Which is cool. Sanitizer you can actually make. And then water... Oh, okay. So I can just put straight water in there, the water bite, and just do this. 
more. Now, I'm kind of wondering about this. Is it supposed to look like that? Or are we supposed to actually have a boiler? And you're out of wood. Of course you are. And I think I am right out of wood, to be honest. Uh, let's find out. I got some wood in here somewhere. If not, I think I can disable, dismantle some shelves. Hmm. That's the problem with moving stuff in this game, is it costs, it costs so much. Yeah, I definitely gotta... Definitely gotta get organized my inventory. Uh, let me find some wood and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back, and I also do realize I have many different types of fuels fuels I can use. I do have, uh, I got coal, I can make the sterilizer, which I think I just need two chemicals for. Uh, let's find out, where was, uh, sterilizer? Sterilizer was, was in the lab, that's right. It was in here. Oh, organics, and, oh, I need the chemicals for it, too. Okay, that's fine. So, we go over here, we can make the Biden in here. Takes 30 seconds. I have no idea what this is, no idea what this is gonna do, but we shall find out. And got a little steam whistle. That's cool. It's kind of funny. I was got a steam whistle. It's not even uh, doesn't even have any fuel or water for that matter. I wonder if that's actually gonna change. I do not know. Uh, we will need fuel, so I believe the coal was in one of these chests somewhere. There we go. Use three for now. I got another 20 in there, or 15 too, so. Let's see what happens, shall we? Okay, fuel. Use uh, the coal. Okay, and then water. Add the Biden. And... I think we're just about ready. Uh, let me see if there's anything else I want to do here before we leave. Okay, I'm back. And I don't think there's really much, too much else to do. I was looking at what there is for research. I don't really have much for supplies left after expanding the platform, building shelves, moving my stuff around, building the steam engine, and blah, 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 blah. But uh, what I can do is I want to go ahead and do this, start saving fuel on the, on the smelting. It's going to save us a little bit more. I don't know how that's even going to work, but that is the case. Uh, this is what's going to be getting into next. And I'm wondering if maybe we should actually unlock this before we continue on. Now, I need uh, whatever that stuff is. I believe that's resin. We'll make that over here. And I need wood. I don't have any wood at all. Or resin, or chemicals for that matter. So we'll have to do that on the road. Uh, but other than that, it would be the, the smelter, and we can't actually get into the brass until we get the zinc, which we need for this. And unfortunately, we can't even get this because I got no wood. Uh, I'm sure I could dismantle something to find some wood here if I really looked. Hmm. Maybe I will. I kind of want to get into that because I do believe I have copper on me, right? Uh, let's see if I always open a, open a crate when I try to check my inventory because it's easier than trying to find I on a keyboard because it's so far over. Okay, so I got enough to make the, uh, the tubing. Uh, what else did I need? Just need the tubing, or the wire actually, and the resin. Let me see if I can find some wood and I'll be right back. Okay, I had to uh, dismantle a couple of chests for this. Uh, I decided to plant a, plant a strange plant and see what happens. See what we get out of it. It almost looks like something I can eat, but I'm not 100% sure. And let's pick it up. And I got four scrap metal for it. Uh, where's my inventory? So, does that mean it gives me random resources? Uh, let's find out. Because I, I found... I found I actually had three more of them. So... Let's separate one. We'll go and plant it again. See what happens. See what we get out of this this time. Oh. Okay, we do that. And you are out of fuel. Of course you are. Oh wait, I have coal on me. That's right. Go add that. And... It always sucks when you're 
right at the end you gotta have more fuel. Right. Oh yeah, and uh, copper wire. Uh, I can go to here and three copper wire. Let's take a second. And the reason I want to do this now, because if I unlock this now, then zinc is actually going to show up in the next area. But I'm kind of wondering about these prophecies now. It kind of makes me want to get my research done, if you know what I mean. So this is done. So I need four iron and four copper for that. And that I got to wait. I actually wonder if I have enough iron for that. Uh, let me look around. Okay, so I looked around and I don't actually have enough iron. Uh, I've got the iron, but I don't have enough iron, extra iron to make the sprockets. And at the same time, too, I've got one copper left that I need to make. Uh, I got to make, what was that? A uh, wire or something like that. Yeah, four tubing and I don't have the... I've only got one copper. So anyways, uh, let's see what this plant gives us. Getting more scrap metal. Oh, this is interesting. I might actually be able to do it now. You know what? I think I do. Hang on. And I am back. I decided to grow another strange plant. It gave me chemicals, or eight chemicals actually, so it wasn't terrible. Uh, so I planted another one, the last one I had. Thought I'd see what came out of this. And I decided to do explore, and I found a room I didn't, ex didn't explore. Anyway, uh, yeah. So let's go ahead and research this. And all that's going to be left is to research the zinc, not the zinc, um, uh, the brass. Alright, so let's see what this thing is all about and how much it's going to cost to make. Oh, that's a garden. There's the advanced smelter, or smelter too. And it costs exactly what it took to research it, of course. I want to get the storage upgraded though. Let's see, I had the decor on here, but I remember I ended up unlocking uh, uh, wagon covers and chemicals out of that one too. Alright, that's fine. Uh, what isn't fine is my storage situation. And I've decided I'm going to hold off uh, work doing any organizing at all until I actually um, um, get some bigger chests. Yes. Uh, I know I'm hungry, I know I'm thirsty, that's why we gotta get rolling right now. So, let's see, uh, the brakes there, uh, transmission handle there, there's an afterburner, we will not use the afterburner. Alright, so, uh, let's see, so let's take the brake off. Oh, damn, that's fast. Oh, maybe it's not. What? What is that? Teleporting and initializing? Uh, let's get up to the front of the train here and see what's going on here. It's definitely going faster. And man, is it dark here. Alright, let's uh... Let's stop this for a second. Uh, let me actually see if it gives a, shows a stats of the fuel. Oh, it does, and how much water too. But I like how you can choose the, the speeds that you you want. Well, I was hoping this was going to be a little bit more of a, a lighter area. Because we're certainly not going to get a thumbnail out of this. So I guess, I guess I get back to the train and deal with this guy. Where'd you go? Actually, what I should be doing. Haha, <laughs> where'd you go? Alright, and I'm ammo on that one. Definitely does better. And I got no ammo. Of course. Alright, well, let me deal with him and I'll be right back. Okay, he has been disposed, uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to carry on a little bit here. As you can see, there's lots of stuff around. I do have to get my vitals taken care of. I need something to eat, something to drink. And I'm going to gather some stuff, and then we'll go ahead and finish off this research here. Maybe I can find some of the zinc if I do, and then uh, I'll bring you back for it. Until then, I'm hoping we get some better light, because I actually wanted to get a like, nice thumbnail out of this. But there's just so much stuff in the way.
It's almost like there's clouds, but I'm sure I'll be able to get some nice light for this. But anyways, I shall return. Okay, I'm back. Uh, I've done a little bit of collecting. As you can see, I found a couple more other big chunks. And like I said, you can place them on the, on the ground. Uh, they do take up uh, one tile space, so that is that. Uh, I've slapped a few of these guys silly to try to get some food. You got more love than I know what to do with. But anyways, I do have enough to go ahead and finish this up. And uh, yeah, uh, sure enough, as I, I had unlocked zinc extraction at the previous depot, I've been finding zinc everywhere actually quite quite often so it's fairly common so it's not exactly a rare re resource so what is next ooh a new workbench ah container too I think that's the first thing we're going to be going into brass pipes I don't know what that's for or the brass wire uh, I'm sure it's going to be stuff made in here what is that oh that's part of the smelter it's the new bars that we make Huh, interesting. Uh, let me gather up some stuff for this. I want to check out these chests and I'll be right back. Oh, check it out. We found another train. I started seeing it show up in the clouds through the fog a little bit. I was trying to figure out what it was. But it turns out this is actually one of the other trains you were talking about. Uh, just looking around to see if there's anything else I want to find. Uh, also, too. I found out that if I go into here, uh, when I put, release the brake, it automatically puts it in medium. If I uh, manually choose it to go slow, no fuel consumption. So that is pretty cool, but let's go ahead and stop this. And let's see what we have around here. Uh, for one, I'm going to need inventory space. I can already guarantee that. Oh, uh, yeah. That's what I was doing. Uh, I should have enough to research this. So research this, and I'm actually going to build one of these so I can get rid of this gun out of my inventory. Alright, so we hold T, we go to the catalog, and let's see what we have. Uh, container 2. So I need one more wood and two more bolts. And I'm wondering if I can actually upgrade these ones. Alright, so uh, what do I need? Wood and bolts. Uh... Let me look around here quickly, and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I also realized this episode is actually quite long. Uh, so I have to just deconstruct another box, but hopefully uh, this will all go good. So let's go ahead and craft and book, and then we'll bring that up. And we want container 2. Now, can I upgrade this? No, I can't. So I'll place it down here, and let's see how big it is. Five slots. And I can get rid of that gun. Thank God. I got inventory space now. Cool. Yeah, it's not a huge improvement, but anything is good right now. I should have enough rings. So let's go investigate, shall we? So I'm going to have to actually tether onto there. Oh. Let's go over there. And let's see. Oh, yeah. I can tether onto here. See, these are the, the covered areas I'm talk, talking about. Oh, resources. Ooh. Ooh, I like this. Can't attract those. Turn the light on and off. That is cool. Yeah, uh, okay. I'm so used to in games where they have 0G that I, uh... Um... What's the word? Oh yeah, that I use Q and E for uh, rotate, but that's not the case here. Okay, so we reach to here, and I did it again. Got coal. Let's go. You can see my train out there. Oh, grab some wood. All right. Well, it doesn't look like this is going to be a whole lot. Unless there's more of the train. Huh. Interesting. Well, that's looking like that's all there is here. So, I guess I'll bring you back if I find anything good. Okay, I'm back and I actually found some of these fireflies. So, these ones do look a little different in color than what I've seen before. And since you've seen this before, 
Uh, I'm gonna go down there and check it out. And if I see anything interesting, I'll bring you back. Okay, I'm down here. It's just one of the ones where I gotta move some tiles around. What is that? Oh, there's something in there. But I see this little guy here. Like, what is this? Did I do something wrong? Have I done a bad thing? I don't know. Let's find out. No, oh, can't do anything now. Ah, he's sleeping. I should know that sound by now. Alright, so... Let's see here. Um, anchor over here. Okay, so what do we gotta do with these things? Hmm. It's an interesting puzzle. Okay, well, let me figure this one out. If I have one of those moments where you think, you wonder what would happen if you did that. <laughs> Don't ask me why I thought of that. Okay. So now we get down here. And... Is that all I gotta do? Hmm. I got it. Gotta figure out the sequence. I think. Hmm. Interesting. No idea. Okay, do I get a reset? Oh wait, hold on. Uh, let me keep going at this and I'll bring you back. Okay, I got it. Uh, I was... I think it had to do with uh, sort of trying to match up... Um... Oh, you know, the, the sounds to what the pictures resembled, which... You know, I sort of heard you know, a woman laughing, and I thought I heard a hag. Uh, or, not a hag, um, a witch. Yes, a witch. And I was trying to figure out what was going on. It was like partying or something. I saw like, well, the like cards, so I was thinking maybe gambling or something like that. And then heard a death or something. But anyways, uh, as soon as I changed over, it went yellow. So do you actually do anything else now? Okay. That's him talking. Oh. Telling a story. Ah. Uh, all makes sense now. Not really. Alright. Uh, how do I get that on my back now? Um... Uh, there we go. Alright, well, this is it. So I'm gonna head back to the train and I'll be at the next destination. Okay, I am back. Uh, I did find it. I told you about the chest I found. I actually showed you that. I did it. <coughs> Sorry. I gathered up a few things. I built a couple more big chests. And I was coming along and I started seeing these lights. And I started thinking, okay, well, there's gonna be another, another witch puzzle. But it almost looks like it's a station. By the way, I found out when this thing actually runs out, it goes at slow speed anyway. So, oh, there's some scrap. Uh, how many times have I done that in this series so far? Oh, there's some scrap. But yeah, uh, if we go over to the engine here. 
Uh, as you can see, the engine is completely out of fuel. So if I pull the brake, it just puts it in slow speed anyways. So that is good. Uh, I have no idea what I'm up against here, so... Let's see. Tension! You hear that? Another adventure invites our heroes. This time, they are about to meet the deadliest of foes, the Hive. These monstrosities defend their islands until the last breath. So, to get the rewards hidden there, you'll have to overcome many unearthly creatures. Only the bravest of heart are capable of completing this task. Okay, well that's my cue to save, so let me save and I will be back and we will dispose of these little purple guys, I guess. Saving complete. So, is it these guys? Is it really these things I gotta worry about? I'm going to say yes. Hmm. This could be proved to be quite interesting. All right, well, let's stop here. Like is something else. Uh, hmm. Okay, why did I do that? <laughs> what is it doing? It's flying away with me. Uh oh. What have I done? Two heroes in a retreat. This will be called a tactical maneuver. That is... I... Didn't get that. Oh, hello. In the first stage of the trials. Um... Oh. Well, let's... Alright. Uh, battles near... Uh, okay, this is just an arena battle of some sort. Okay. Uh, you can take a over... Uh... Well, I guess we're going to try it. No, oh, so this is just basically... Uh... A wave sort of thing. Uh. Okay, I wasn't ex not expecting this. that be a lesson to you. You see a walking purple flower, don't touch it. I can hear them scuttering, but I can't tell where they're coming from. Interact with the monolith. Okay, uh... We are gonna stop there. At least, we, at least what we know what this is about. Oh. Ooh. Ooh, resources. Okay, now what? Uh, reach the next depot. Of course. So, where do I go from here? Do I go in here? I have no idea. Let's, uh, let's explore a little bit. I 
this was certainly unexpected. Okay, you are nothing. Now the question is, how do I get back to my train? I'm lost. Meet you back at the train. I guess I go back the same way I came. I just saw these little guys here. That is so wrong. Like if you actually look at what's at the other end of this, it's almost like it's a pigeon. And look where my hand is. That's just so wrong. Oh, this game, I tell you. Okay, well, that is that. I don't think there's actually anything here, is there? No, we're not going to do that again. Not now, anyways. Okay, well, that's all that is. That is, so I'm going to continue on, and I'll be back. Okay, just because it's dark, you can tell we're here by the epic music playing in the background. And I'll get even more epic when we get close to it. Uh, so yeah, I've done some more gathering. I found a whole bunch of rocks. So we got coal, we got water. Uh, I found another chest too. It's another one of those puzzles, really simple one. Now is this chest over here? Oh, my head's off too because I was taking a screenshot. So yeah. Uh, what we're going to do is we're actually going to leave this one here. But what I want to do is I want to go ahead and start making this uh, smelter too. So I go here, and uh, smelter two. So I need bolts, bolts, gears, and tubing. All right. Well, that's not gonna work there. So I gotta pick this up, and we go place it. I'll place it next to the next to the garden for now. Yeah. Now I go back in here. And we do this, and we will rotate, like so, and this is a big machine. Alright, get me out of here, thank you. Alright, so I need two bolts, four gears, four pipe. Okay, and there we go, here we go, it is now done. So, what does this do? Okay, so that was steel, that just requires Iron to make steel. Interesting. Okay, and then, yeah, like copper and zinc makes brass, which actually does make sense. Alright, so that is cool. Uh, I don't know what you need to steal for, but that is that, so I don't actually take that one apart because I need it for this. Alright, so what else do we need there? We actually need to make some brass for brass wire. We need to make some brass for. Okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, for brass pipe, and then I also need steel, brass, wood, bowls to make the workbench too. And I think we're going to end up doing that one in the next episode, as I know we're running really long here and I'm rambling on when I should, should be editing this video right now. But what we're going to do before we go is we're actually going to feed this guy and see what he does. Gotta love those mushrooms. Now, this new decor learned. So, what is that? that what does that mean? Right? Like, it doesn't happen before. I know I got a decor tab up here, but I got nothing here. Is it some thing I'm supposed to be building? Is it supposed to be in here in the uh, workbench too? Which I haven't built yet. Uh, it could be. You know, I know this is, uh... Yeah, this is very limited, so maybe that's what it is. Uh, let's actually take a quick look here. I don't think there's going to be anything here. No. So, anyways, I'm going to call this one here, because, uh, like I said, it's a long episode. So, I hope you all... Thank you all for watching. Oh, no. I thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to leave me a like. And, as always, I'll see you in the next one.
Later. Just like turkey dinner. Gotta sleep it off, huh? <laughs>